Hi, I'm John Waterston, a program manager in the Strategic Technology Office of DARPA, and I have an important message for you. Actually, I have a check for you. I don't know if you will ever be able to find this check because I'm about to throw it overboard. For all we know about weather and currents, we cannot, with reasonable accuracy, predict where this bottle will go. In fact, we can't even estimate where this will be in as few as 10 days. And that's my message to you. I need your help and will award prize money for the best solution. As some of you may know, I'm the program manager for DARPA's Ocean of Things program. We use low-cost distributed drifters for maritime situational awareness. Where most ocean models rely on high-cost, exquisite sensors, I think we can use free-drifting, commercial off-the-shelf sensors like this spotter developed by SOFAR Ocean. I want to encourage the use of these low-cost Lagrangian drifters and incorporate their real-time data into ocean models. Let's take a closer look at the problem we're trying to solve, which lies at the ocean-air interface. Here is a mesoscale feature. Since it's greater than 32 kilometers in size, we have a pretty good idea of where it is and where it is going. If I drop a bottle in the southwest corner of this feature, we have a good idea that it will generally move to the northeast. But for a feature this size, there are actually a lot of ways that it can travel. And the real problem is we don't have a good understanding of the sub-mesoscale features that this bottle could get caught in and drift in an entirely new direction. Additionally, we don't always have the exact location of where these larger features exist. Let's take a look at this Ocean of Things data from the Gulf of Mexico as Hurricane Sally passed through in September 2020. The Lagrangian drifters here, when assimilated into this data set, show a warm core eddy circulating 50 to 100 kilometers southwest of the model position, resulting in the storm's unpredicted intensification just prior to making landfall. So here's how I want you to explore this problem. DARPA will provide 20 days worth of drift data from the field of SOFAR spotters. With roughly 90 drifters circulating in the Atlantic and 20 days of data to train your algorithm, I want you to predict where these spotters will be over the next 10 days. DARPA and SOFAR Ocean will provide the data, but the data assimilation, statistical analysis, algorithms, and techniques for predicting their position are up to you. DARPA will award a total of $50,000 in this challenge. $25,000 for first place, $15,000 for second place, and $10,000 for third place. This isn't just a problem about finding a check in the bottle, but in understanding the fundamental forces at the ocean surface. Instead of a message in a bottle, it could be a man overboard in need of search and rescue, or it could be an oil spill in need of cleanup efforts. With that in mind, happy hunting. For more information, register for our competitor's day on October 7th, and download our sample data from the Ocean of Things website and give it a try. Good luck.